I want to take a quick moment and talk about where I started with my project and what I was looking at and how how it started. So we want to get into getting into computational thinking, defining that, developing some strategies, and really putting some things together to start down this road. That was the very first part of it. Um, and then at the beginning, I was going to work with a few key interested parties, um, some teachers on campus that were already interested in what they wanted to do. You know, that low-hanging fruit and get started with them and start bringing in our digital learning coaches and our instructional coaches as well to help with help the teachers with this. And then as we started working on these computational thinking activities um, and having my students reach out to them and not being me the driver of this, but uh, my students working with the teachers and so they're getting that feedback from students as they work on it, as they develop their curriculum and tweak a project that they could then use that computational thinking in class for that. So for instance, the idea of Lord of the Flies, instead of at the end of it, um, the students acting out some scene from it, they were using something like Sphero to act it out. So they were really digging deeper into what they were learning. And it would take a little longer, but they were really having to think about what the author meant as they worked on that. So they're bringing that computational thinking into their classroom. And my students would work on with them to figure out what their goals were and what they wanted to do and how that was gonna happen. And really, you know, starting to craft that and develop it, but not just being me and a teacher, but me with students and teachers and really getting this whole infrastructure together, working with our digital learning coaches and our instructional coaches as well. And then as we started going deeper into it, promoting this and working on some professional learning in the school to help build some more capacity for that. And then um, along the way, start bringing in um, other teachers and bringing in the other engineering teachers. And we have a uh, education program on campus and bringing those people in as well so they could, the, future teachers, you know, people who are learning to be teachers, they could work on this as well. And then those teachers that had done it, working with their um, teachers and their team and making this really a sustainable, bigger project. And that was really where I was starting at with this.